In this video, I want to go over something that I saw on the internet where it looks like a do-it-yourselfer went over an existing set of concrete stairs to create this look. And I'm not going to build the stairway exactly like the individual did it. However, I do want to point out a few problems you could have in the future if you do something like this. And the first thing on the list will be by adding materials to the top of the concrete stairs. Like we did here where we have an inch and a half thick piece of wood and then another inch and a half thick piece of decking. Then you're usually going to end up with a larger height for the riser at the bottom. And at the top you could have a problem if you just don't have enough of room or a situation where the step on the outside would be a little higher than the floor on the inside. So that's the first thing on the list. Next would be the gaps. And even if you shove everything tight together, you still could end up with some type of lumber shrinkage if you're using lumber. However, you shouldn't have that problem if you're using some type of man-made engineered decking products. So in reality, you could actually figure out a way to eliminate the gaps. And if you could, then those gaps could eliminate debris from collecting under the upper part of the stairway or on top of the concrete. And of course, if the debris gets wet and remains wet for a long period of time, it can allow the moisture to absorb into the wood and then eventually rot the wood. Or it could attract termites or even a fungus. And of course, time and weather might be your worst enemy here. So for example, if you live in an area where there is very little debris, then you're probably not going to accumulate a lot underneath the steps. Another thing on the list, and this is important also, is figuring out how you're going to attach any of the lumber to the concrete and then hope that it doesn't separate somehow. And in some cases, you might be able to use certain materials that will not separate. And if that's the case, then you would have solved one of the problems that would prevent me from building something like this. Next on the list would be if you lived in an area where it snowed and somehow you would end up trapping water in these cavities. And if it did, there's a good chance the ice could expand and force some or all of the materials to separate from the existing concrete stairway. And of course, I don't want to leave you without an option for building some type of stairway like this or trying to fix a damaged concrete stairway. And my first option for trying to fix the concrete stairway, especially if it's a small one like this, would simply be to remove and replace the stairway. And my suggestion would be similar if I wanted to have some type of a wood deck looking stairway.